Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Mysteries and Oddities video. Well, for this video, I actually thought I would give a treat and elaborate on a post that I just placed a couple of days back there on my community tab. This was a post involving the way that whales sleep, and it definitely got a lot of good views and some good comments, so it made me realize that people are fascinated by this. I was too. That's why essentially I posted it there a couple of days back. And so looking at some more cursory information online and then gathering some tidbits of research here and there, I realized this is just too fascinating to not share here with everyone. And it perfectly links to the oddity side associated with this particular channel because just when you think you've got animals figured out there and when it comes to this world here's something like this that makes you realize that you're not even close when it comes to uh, figuring out everything that animals can do i mean when this information that i'm about to share here it definitely sounds otherworldly but let's go ahead and let's talk about that here in this case for this mysteries and oddities video it's essentially talking about just how do whales sleep and then from that particular question, I'll elaborate not only that, but other information associated with that trait. So let's go ahead and let's talk about all that fascinating info here. And I'm hoping that by the end of the video, you'll realize just how amazing the animal world is uh, here on Earth. So, so as far as this notion, how exactly how do whales sleep? I'm going to talk about not just whales, but maybe even dolphins and just an all around set of animals. So it basically it's this. They are known as cetaceans which is another way of stating that they're voluntary breathers. And so the big difference between them and us is that we are involuntary breathers, us humans. That means that we will always be breathing at any point whatsoever. Whether we're awake, whether we're asleep, whether we're unconscious, no matter what, our bodies will automatically have that breathing mechanism kick in. Well, as it turns out, dolphins, whales, porpoises, and other type of animals or mammals are voluntary breathers, meaning they have to actually think about every breath that they're going to take. So every time, if you ever see like videos online or on TV and it showcases a whale coming up to breathe, that blowhole, whenever it opens and closes, that is 100% uh, done on a voluntary basis. That's not automatic. Same thing like whenever you see those bubbles come out from other mammals there, like dolphins and whales in the ocean, that's them placing effort into doing that quote-unquote breathing. So it goes to show again, big, big difference between the two of them Compared to us, we will always be breathing while they, in turn, have to manually think. Now, the problem, though, is this. If you have to voluntarily breathe, how essentially do you sleep as, a, as an animal? How can you sleep when, if you're sleeping, you're not necessarily thinking about doing things? Well, here's how things get so fascinating for these cetaceans. It's essentially this. They sleep half of their brain while the other half is constantly awake. That's right. One half of their brain is always sleeping or resting uh, during that time period. And then the other half is physically awake to make sure that it's aware of its environment, about its, its, its dangers surrounding it. And not only that, but some of the other um, uh, mammals that are surrounding it too, like its calf and then other um, dolphins or whales too. And this is because naturally when you're thinking about something as vast and as large as the ocean, it's not like there's a convenient place where they can just go lay down and rest, so to speak, and then hide away when it comes to being away from danger. No, they're always out there in the open ocean and of course there's other predatory animals there so what i found so amazing to read was that whenever a whale is about to go to sleep it'll essentially rest one half of their brain and then the other half is constantly awake that's usually about two hours and then it switches almost like a like a record like it'll switch to the other side and then when that happens the other half uh, goes to sleep and then the other half wakes up as well and whenever they do this there's several ways that they sleep either they are constantly in motion meaning they're moving about they're swimming in other words and this is because apparently they have to maintain a certain body temperature and making those muscles move helps regulate the body temperature to a specific 
point. Otherwise, the cold, frigid water will make him lose that body temperature quicker, and then, of course, that becomes an issue. Or they'll do that eerie thing in the picture where they're basically floating horizontally or vertically together. Usually it's in a pack. The way I was reading the information, especially like with dolphins, um, if it may, if they are male dolphins, it's at least two. But if it's females and then also their younglings, then they tend to be a much larger pack. It makes more sense either way because obviously this is something involving protection against predators. If you're doing it just as one single whale or one single dolphin, then that could be an issue. No matter how much you keep the other half awake, as far as the brain, you're not going to be covering all sides and so it makes sense to have all these animals all together and then the third thing that they do is called logging that's where essentially they go to rest up to the surface itself and then they just lie flat on top of the water and then when they do so there they are just moving about in a stiff rigid manner and then that's considered them sleeping so i was watching online too there was in, uh, videos associated with people coming across both dolphins and whales in particular forms of sleep and again it looks so pretty but it looks so eerie just to see them float about too people apparently know this phenomenon because dolphins and uh, other types of smaller whales that are there in captivity also exhibit the same thing. Like they've been known to rest at the very bottom of the pool for a few minutes just as a solid log and then they go up and then they um, wake up essentially and then they move about. The other fascinating thing I read was this and it had to do with those aforementioned younglings. As it turns out, it's very important when it comes to their breathing. They need that oxygen. The way that their bodies are built, like the whales and the dolphins, they have special attributes to make sure that they can last a longer time without oxygen, as opposed to us humans. I mean, we can barely last even a, you know, half a, half a minute or something like that when it comes to needing to breathe. The environment that these animals are, are, are swimming in, it's adapted their bodies to make sure that they in turn can last a longer time. In fact, they can go on the very low speed spectrum in something like three to seven breaths per minute and that allows them to be hours on end underneath water without even having to go up into the surface and obtain more oxygen but when they do when they absolutely need that oxygen they'll go up and then they have much, much larger lungs than us humans do. And then that way they get to get a whole bunch of oxygen all at once. Uh, and they keep it in captivity within their bodies. And again, it's a much larger area in terms of the oxygen there as opposed to us having tiny lungs. And then the other thing is their bodies adapt to making sure that the oxygen, when it kicks in, it kicks in into the right areas specifically needing that oxygen. In other words, their bodies won't waste the oxygen on other areas that aren't as important so if other parts of the body need oxygen then it'll go specifically to that route and it'll it'll 100 make sure that it's conserved to the maximum possibility but the problem again is with the younglings whenever they're born and they're born let's say somewhere underneath the water they in turn have to get those first breaths of oxygen but when they do so i was sad to read that in some cases they never make it up they must have been heartbreaking uh like if you were to see something like this happen there in the ocean you'll see like a mother whale or a mother dolphin trying to get their youngling up towards the surface but they sometimes they just don't make it in time and that's because of the fact that they are not able to get right at that point right before they actually lose um, enough oxygen if they had any to begin with and then that's where it become a big problem but the mother is there to help them out and try to make sure that's done another way they do so is this with the younglings whenever they're first born they don't have enough fat in their bodies to be floating at an optimum level like the buoyancy within their bodies is not as perfect as the more adult whales or the adult dolphins so when that happens and let's say the little baby has to sleep do that half sleep in other words or cat napping as i was reading on one of the articles when that happens then it's going to affect the younglings because they're going to be floating downward they're going to be rushing right towards the bottom so how did they fix that um, it was fascinating to read that the mothers the way they do it is they swim really really close to 
the little ones. And then when that happens, the stream that's, that their body makes, the slipstream, um, basically keeps the youngling there within the slipstream. So if you ever see any footage showcasing like a dolphin with a smaller one or a whale with a smaller one, and they're perfectly parallel to each other, really close, and they're moving in tandem, it's because, for lack of a better term, the youngling is trapped within the slipstream of the whale or the dolphin, and that's keeping them in a sleeping area comfortably within that slipstream and anywhere that whale or dolphin moves then that's where the youngling automatically moves as well that was really cool to read that information it just goes to show how amazing this stuff is adapted like their bodies their activities uh, everything they do within the water is perfectly adapted to whatever their need is but yeah as far as all this information exactly how do whales sleep it was amazing to read it, how everything is just perfect to the point when it comes to answering any question whatsoever and if if you ever see one out there in the wild like let's say if you go out there fishing or you're just swimming and you happen to see one uh just floating about it's not dead it's just sleeping and chances are it knows that you're there as well considering that again half of its brain is awake um it's just calmly just swimming about if you could call it that knowing that you're not going to really pose too much danger but just watch out just in case because you never want want to accidentally put it into an alert status while it's in its half sleep. Last thing I wanted to mention was this, the fact that they again do this catnapping of sorts and that they have half their brain asleep and the other half not, do they actually dream? That's still up for the debate. Uh, I was reading several articles and um, it was stating that it's hard to determine. Obviously, we dream and presumably some of the other animals like dream as well like my cat next to me anytime she's sleeping i can see her move in terms of her uh, legs in terms of her eyes like she's chasing something so it has that rapid eye movement that seems to go into the dreamlike effect so we still don't know as far as like how or if anything involving dolphins or other whale-like creatures truly do sleep or not but if they do they definitely have to do it at a much shorter period because it's uh, the way I was reading one article it's about maybe one third of their day is spent sleeping and even then that's that loose form of sleeping which is the catnapping so I don't think they have enough time in other words to sleep uh, in other words to dream during their sleep so but in any case just wanted to provide all of that fascinating info on how whales sleep it was amazing to read this and i hope you're able to enjoy and see how otherworldly this stuff is just curious if anyone out there has ever run into let's say a pack of of, of whales or dolphins just floating out there in the sea and if you have how was that like i mean how was it like to see something like that out there in the ocean so if you have please post those comments below all right everybody thanks again as always take care